Millions of pairs of eyes will be turning to the skies on April 8th, but those eyes need to be decked out in these special eclipse glasses. Our Patrick Ryan spoke to a local eye doctor about how you could watch the eclipse safely. Mankind since the dawn of time has known not to look at the sun for extended periods of time. It's just that the eclipse, you're tempted to do it. Eye doctors across western New York are urging people to plan ahead in order to protect their eyes. Dr. Andrew Reynolds is an ophthalmologist with the Ross Eye Institute in Buffalo. So the university, the county, the state, they've all come to us with questions about it, but I think the average person is, is a little unprepared potentially for what's going to happen. Dr. Reynolds explains what could happen if the naked eye is not shielded with the proper eclipse glasses at the correct time. The sun actually is burning a small hole in the back part of your retina and the biggest trouble with that is when you're directly gazing at the sun where you're going to put that hole is right in the center part of your vision which we call the fovea and that's where your 2020 vision, your color vision, everything that you think of reading, recognizing faces is at that spot. So you're left with in worst case scenario a big black hole in the center part of your vision forever. This injury to the eye is known as solar retinopathy. Dr. Reynolds says in mild cases it will self-resolve, but he warns in severe cases it can lead to total blindness. I want people to be safe, but I also want people to enjoy this once in a lifetime experience. He says it's important to get eclipse glasses from a reputable organization with the ISO 123122 safety standard. Dr. Reynolds says people need to have the glasses on anytime they're staring at the sun before and after the eclipse, but you'll want to have them off when the sun is completely covered. You can and, and indeed probably should take the glasses off. Uh, the solar flare, the corona that you see around the sun is the most visually striking part of the eclipse. Dr. Reynolds says those viewing the eclipse through cameras, binoculars, and telescopes need to have the proper filters. He also recommends that parents keep a close eye on their children and consider indirect viewing methods. Patrick Ryan, News 4. Still ahead, 